Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and this is a little introduction to the AGM 88C Harm, which will premiere in our open beta next week. Now, the AGM 88C Harm is an anti radiation missile, meaning that it seeks out and homes in on the radar energy from ground based radars, uh, namely SAMs and radar directed AAA. Now, there's three basic modes to the Harm in the Hornet there's SP uh, mode, or self protect. Then there's TOO mode, or target of opportunity. And then there's PB mode, or pre-brief mode. And on top of that, you have a sub-mode called pullback mode. And in the initial uh, release next week in the open beta, we're going to be doing the self-protect mode uh, first. And then we'll follow that up with the other modes um, as they come online. So let's jump into the cockpit now. Now, it's also uh, good to know that the Harm has a pretty great range, but of course, just like air missiles, it really depends on the launch altitude and launch speed of the aircraft. So in the, uh, the Harm, even in self-protect mode, if you're at you know above 45,000 feet and over Mach 1, you can reach, uh, reach out and touch a target out to 80 nautical miles pretty far. But if you're down much lower, of course, that range is going to be significantly lower, as you might imagine. Okay, let's go ahead and pause now. So we'll go ahead and select uh, air to ground. And we see that we have uh, harm on the uh, uh, storage page. We have four loaded all on standby. So we'll go ahead and select it. And now we're in the harm format page. We see we have one ready on station eight. These are three different modes for the harm. Uh, SP uh, self-protect, TOO and PB. Uh, TOO and PB are crossed out because they're uh, not operational quite yet. Of course, we can step through those stations. Let's go back to the uh, source page and we can see station 8 is ready and the other uh, three are in standby mode. Now up on the uh, HUD we have our EW display uh, indicating what's uh, illuminating us and when you're in self-protect mode or even uh, TOO in pre-brief mode for that matter the selected uh, radar emitter that the harm will go after will have a box around it. So in this case you see uh, HN which is one of the navalized radars uh, is selected. Now, if you want to select a different radar, all you have to do is press the harm sequence slash raid uh, slash uh, FLIR field of view button on your throttle, which is also the I key. So we see I can cycle through the different emitters just by pressing I. And I got an SA6 loaded. So let's go ahead and roll on in on this guy. Now, it's also very important to understand in SP mode, there is no range indication. So it's just a hard handoff. Uh, from the, our, uh, the raw gear. So you really want to have a, a pretty good understanding of where that target is before you fire that harm out there to make sure you can actually reach it. Now I'm cycling through the different emitters. And I got an SA6. Again, I'm not quite sure where it is uh, range-wise. We're going to take a chance here. And they're going to hold down the weapon release button and magnum. And when you see a kind of a U-shaped uh, symbol under the uh, ID code, that means it's a naval radar on a ship. So I cycle my target to a new one, T2, and magnum. So as you can see, using uh, the self-protect uh, mode on the harm, it's, it's very simple. Uh, it only gives you limited data, of course. It's um, not going to be anything like TOO and pre-briefed uh, modes, but it really gives you a great opportunity to finally uh, fire back on the SAMs out there. And anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this little introduction, and I'll see you later.